Have you ever wondered how a library book gets to the library, or what happens to it behind the scenes as library staff get it ready to be checked out? A typical library book is ordered by one of several librarians who select materials for the library's collection. Most books come from the warehouse of one of the large booksellers we purchase from. We get deliveries like this one almost every day. It's the job of the library's technical services department to receive new materials, unpack them, and get them ready to be checked out. After a book is delivered, a library volunteer opens its box and ensures the contents of the box match the listing of what the librarian ordered. She'll also stick a barcode on each book. The books then go to a cart and make their way to a library staff member who finds, edits, and downloads a computer record that includes the book's title, summary, and other information. This computer record is later imported to the library's computer system. These records, called MARC records, contain words and phrases, like an author's name, that allow library users to search the library's collection from the online catalog. The books are now in the library's computer system, but they still need labels and, sometimes, a cover. Another technical services staff member labels the books, and with books without covers, covers the labels with a special tape for protection. Some books we cover by hand. Others we cover using a machine called a Calibri, which uses heat to seal a fitted plastic case around each book. Other books we don't cover at all. The books are now ready for the rough and tumble of going home with up to 100 different Johnston citizens before succumbing to wear and tear and being replaced or discarded, a process librarians call weeding. A borrower has requested this particular title to be held at the checkout desk. We open his account with the barcode on his library card, hand him his book, and get back to work that goes with checking out over 330,000 items each year.